Now there are 44 men and one woman on death row here in Georgia. Last night the state executed its third inmate so far in 2019, Ray Cromarty, up until the moment of his execution. His attorneys were doing all they could to fight to try and stop it in Jackson, arguing that new DNA evidence could show he was not the one who actually pulled the trigger in 1994. And as Elvin Lopez reports, their battle will not end with Cromartie's death. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. Anthony Cromartie says his brother's previous attorneys didn't request DNA testing, but should have. When his new attorney stepped in, they did, but they lost every appeal for a new trial, including their request to test the evidence now. Anthony Cromartie was hoping DNA testing would help exonerate his brother, Ray Jefferson Cromartie. Cromartie's attorneys argue it could prove the man executed last night did not pull the trigger, killing store clerk Richard Slice during a South Georgia robbery in 1994. Years ago, number one priority, this makes sure that he committed the crime. He paid the price for it. But if he didn't, set him free. So why wasn't the evidence tested now? The state countered that the DNA evidence the defense was seeking couldn't prove his innocence, and a judge ruled last month that it was unlikely the testing would lead to a different verdict. 11 Alive legal analyst Lotonia Hines says that's because he was convicted of malice murder, which can be applied even if you don't physically murder the person, but were a party to the crime. You can be held to the same charges as the person who pulled the trigger. The getaway driver and an accomplice pled guilty to lesser charges, served prison time, and have since been released. The case raises questions about DNA evidence in cases from decades ago, when testing wasn't as sophisticated as it is now. According to the Innocence Project, the first DNA exoneration took place in 1989. 367 people in the U.S. have been exonerated by DNA testing. 61% of them were African American. 21 inmates were on death row. And since the Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty in 1976, 74 men and one woman have been executed here in Georgia. Under Georgia law, three offenses being murder, rape, and kidnapping are punishable by death. Elwin, thanks a lot.